At Fastly, what we want to do is we are going to create a quiz assignment. Now, when you're creating a quiz assignment, there's a couple of key things you need to keep in mind here. We're not really going to use a rubric for this one because we're using a quiz. So the quiz has automatically um, has its grades that are attached to it. So what we're going to do, you can either import a quiz that you already have, or you can, or you can, it just creates a blank quiz for you that you can click on and start creating your quiz. So we're going to add one that I've already created. Um, right, so there's poetry test one. The minute that I've got more than one item here, you'll see now suddenly grade importing has been switched off, right? When you want to use grade importing for quiz, you can only have one attachment. So you can't have an instructional thing and then the, and then the quiz as well. So you'll have to take one of them away. Once I've taken one of them away, grade importing has been switched on. Right, so now I'm going to say poetry test one. And I've got my instructions included in here. Now, one of the things um, th that with a quiz that you'll have to keep in mind if you are using if you're going to be using um, your gmail account it is unfortunately a little bit more tricky when you're using a, when you're using a, a google domain importing of the grades becomes a lot more simplistic but if you're using a gmail account um, and you've got your poetry i just want to quickly show you you've got my poetry test there's the first poem two questions on it second poem two more questions on it i know it's a total of, of four marks when you go to your settings, you have to make sure that you have collect email addresses enabled. And we want to limit it to one response. In this instance, I'm not going to restrict it um, to, to only the Western Cape Education Department. What happens when you, assign the, when you assign the quiz? It is automatically linked to your domain. So in other words, um, it becomes a little bit tricky when I, do it, when I do it that way. What you'll see is once I've added this collect email addresses thing, and I'm not using only my domain, it adds a question where it says email address. Now, this question won't be there if you are only using this form within your own domain. So, for example, if you are a teacher at school A and all the learners have email accounts that are linked to school A, then this won't appear. Unfortunately, if you're using a Gmail, if you're using the Gmail um, platform, you'll have to add this so the learners will have to add their email addresses every time which i realize can be a little bit difficult for them sometimes okay so once i've set that up i'm gonna go back to my um i'll go back to my my poetry test again or to my class at least and i'm gonna say assign right now what i do suggest okay again this poetry test um we didn't assign it to a topic so we'll just go back assign it to the poetry topic okay so what I'd suggest when you get to when when you've assigned this already just open up your quiz again because what happens very often um, is Google wants to change the settings to a specific thing right so it is going to restrict it it's going to have certain settings that have been um, that have been activated once you assign. So make sure that you go back to your um, to your quiz and double check that everything is correct. I just opened mine in the background and I checked, and yes, it changed the settings in a certain way that I didn't want it to be um, changed to.